Hello guys. In today's video we are going to talk all about Apple's Ronald Wayne. The billionaire who never became a billionaire. Apple is now world's largest publicly traded company by market capitalization. Apple is the first and only company in the world that has had a market cap reaching $3 trillion at its peak on January 3, 2022. It is the fourth largest personal computer vendor by unit sales and second largest mobile phone manufacturer. It is one of the big five American information technology companies alongside Alphabet, parent company of Google, Amazon Meta, parent company of Facebook, and Microsoft. Most people know it founders Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, but a lot of people do not know that Apple has a third founder, Ronald Wayne. Born in Cleveland, Ohio, United States on May 17, 1934, Wayne is a retired American electronics industry businessman. He trained as a technical draftsman during high school at the School of Industrial Art in New York City. At age of 22, he moved to California. In 1971, Wayne started his first business, which sold slot machines, but the company failed some few years later. Wayne worked at the three-year-old Atari in 1976, where he built the internal corporate documentation systems, and that is also when he met co-workers Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Wayne invited the two to his home to facilitate, advise, and help them settle one of their typical intense discussions about the design of computers and the future of the industry. The three used to have multiple of these conversations, which lasted two hours or more. At 41, being the oldest of the three, Wayne was the adult in the room. While discussing technology and business jobs, proposed the founding of a computer company which would be led by Wozniak and himself. The two would each hold a 45% stake so that Wayne could receive a 10% stake to act as a tiebreaker in their decisions. Wayne wrote a partnership agreement and the three founded Apple Computer on April 1, 1976. Wayne illustrated the first Apple logo and wrote the Apple One manual. Unlike Jobs and Wozniak, then 21 and 25, Wayne was already in his 40s and had personal assets that potential creditors could possibly seize. Remember the company he founded and owned in the beginning of the 1970s failed. Furthermore, idea of business was different from Jobs and Wozniak as he preferred to have the original product engineering and in slot machines and not in the documentation systems he believed Jobs and Wozniak wanted him to do at Apple indefinitely. Believing he was standing in the shadow of giants of product design talent and avoiding financial risk, he quit the company. As a new startup in a new industry with Apple was highly risky for weighing dues to it high potential of failure than succeeding. Since the company was registered as a partnership, all members were personally responsible for any debts incurred by any partner and this was a risk Wayne could not afford. Wayne quit Apple on April 12th. 1976 12 days after its creation therefore relinquishing his 10 percent share of the new company back to jobs and wozniak for 800 us dollars equivalent to four thousand one hundred fourteen dollars and sixty six cents in 2023 and one year Laterto forfeit any potential future claims against the newly incorporated apple he accepted a final 1500 us dollars equivalent to seven thousand seven hundred fourteen dollars and ninety eight cents in 2023 Apple's stock market capitalization as of February 3, 2023 is at $2.45 trillion at 10% of its ownership Wayne would have had a net worth of $250 billion ranking him among the top 10 richest people in the world. Years later Wayne reflected that he had no business being in business and that he was far better working in engineering. He said that he does not regret selling his share of the company and that his decision was made with the information available to him at the time. Wei also stated that he had originally believed that Apple would become successful, however, it was going to be very difficult to achieve. Life after Apple Wayne remained working at Atari until 1978 then he joined Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and later an electronics company in Salinas, California. Steve Jobs tried to get him to return to Apple on multiple occasions, but Wayne rejected his attempts. Wayne ran a stamp shop in Milpitas, California for a short time in the late 1970s. After a number of break-ins, he moved his stamp operations to his home. Steve Jobs approached him again as a business contact for Apple, but Wayne refused to even forward Jobs' proposal to purchase a friend's company. Wayne's principle was that his friend should retain ownership under exclusive license to Apple instead of selling, but he would later express regret for having blocked the contact instead of allowing the decision to be made directly. 
In the early 1990s, Wayne sold the original Apple partnership contract papers signed in 1976 by Jobs Wozniak and himself for $500. US dollars. In 2011, the contract was sold at auction for $1.6 million. Wayne has stated that he regrets that sale. At age 70, Wayne claimed he was robbed of his life savings, which he kept in a strongbox in his home. Amongst the assets he held was 145 ounces of gold worth approximately $247,000 as of November 2022, also $3,000 worth of silver coins. To cover expenses, Wayne was compelled to sell his house and retire to a mobile home park in Pahrump, Nevada, where he sells stamps and rare coins and plays penny slots at a casino. He later sold off old Apple memorabilia to collectors to pay off bills. Wayne never owned an Apple product until 2011 when he was given an iPad 2 at the Update Conference in Brighton, England. He still holds a dozen patents. Please let us know what you think. Do you believe Wayne has no regret for leaving and selling his shares from Apple? Please let us know what you think here below in the comment and do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.